web search has evolved over time, and Google, I think, is has invested a lot in in search technologies. I think the newspapers should understand what they've done and recognize the benefits of what you've done, both for them and for the readers. And we view ourselves as a credible, trusted, conscientious intermediary, bringing people who come to us for information in the right source. And news information is one such a kind of information. We don't want to serve the news. We just want to direct people to where the news lives, which is on websites of newspapers. And we also want to make the whole process very efficient. So it's, it's extremely inefficient for me to go to a website for say Times of India, find an article, read it, and then say, ah, what is this not Times saying about this? And our job is to make the internet more efficient. So by, by ahead of time finding out which article we're talking about the same subject and pairing them and making them easy to find, we are really reducing the inertia that's preventing readers from going to these multiple websites. So we're making the, the news web, if you will, much more navigable. And our goal is ultimately to bring the readers to these websites that the newspapers will love. There is a lot of human judgment required, but the human judgment is being factored in by the machines that we are using. So what our computers do is they do the dumb thing mechanically, which is fetching the article over the network, which you don't need a human form. Um, and understanding which articles are talking about the same subject, no human can cope with the hundreds of thousands of articles that are published every day, only a computer can. But finally, to decide how important is the story compared to that story, our computers actually crawl back on humans. And the way they do that is they look at who is published in this particular story. So there are two stories to compare. One of them has lots of fresh content coming from mainstream publications, and the other one has relatively little content coming from a few publications, and most of them are duplicates realize that this is a bigger story, right? So ultimately what they're doing is they're looking at the publishing judgments of the individual editors and saying, these editors know what's, what's important, that we pay attention to them. So it's, it's uh, not true that our computers are not paying attention to human judgment, that in fact combining human judgment from a, from a big group of editors to decide what's the important story to write. So we, I think we are using the best of both worlds to cope with this much of news humans can't manage. But uh, ultimately, to decide what is a good ranking, we have to turn to the editors, and that's what we do. So, how is Google News going to become more attractive okay. going forward? Is this the example of Facebook as a, as, as a medium for Google News to, to be surfaced was one of the interesting experiments. The other thing we're trying is um, in the US edition, we have something called comments, where they allow people who are in the story to contact us and post a comment on what their side of the story was attributed to them, so from an eyewitness in the story. So we're thinking that the news that we have today is influenced by traditional journalism in a certain way, but it needs to evolve as, as new voices come in, as the readers want, you know, give feedback to the industry from what they care about. And in, 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 I think you see the next generation of not just Google News but other websites too um, being much more receptive to what non-traditional participants in the news process are saying. That includes the people in the story, people reading the story, and so forth.